I'm jumping right into it with Jen and Vivi. All right, let's go. Love it. He, he, oh. What's up? <laughs> What's up? Oh, so, I mean, we just saw um, a very, very nice set coming in from um, Utopian Ray and yeah. mm -hmm. I think that was winner semis. Yeah, that was the winners. Yeah. If that looking at it, yeah, semis. That was quarters. I'm so sorry. Quarters. We're both blind. Besides that, besides that, we're starting on PS2 this time for Vivi and Jen. I've actually not seen these guys play in quite a while, but it seems pretty balanced on both sides right now. But that was a beautiful triple hit right there. What a combo. Oh, def I love him trying to get that on ledge jump there. Yeah, like, it's underrated with Palutena from what I've seen, where you can go for up air, but then you don't really fast follow enough, so this way you drag your opponent down, you get the up air, so this way when you land, it suns up, and thus, since you're on the ground, you can double jump and get the extension with another up air. So it's good for maximum damage output, and just while like, juggling your opponents. Ooh, okay, invisibility on the shield will I definitely good like there. a lot of these up airs that um, Jen is going for, because he kind of just notices that I think it's his um, normal jump. Oh my Ooh. goodness. I'm surprised that Delta actually caught Lucario on that. And he had enough time to shield that? Oh, and then Definitely. Marin to oh, up too. Not, yeah, that's not a new yet. combo. That's new to me. All right. that's, that's been here. <laughs> I haven't been here, Ben. I wasn't there. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't go for back throw on that. I guess Jen just wanted to be a bit more patient because with Lucario's movement off the ledge, he wanted to be very safe about it. Hmm. I see a lot of things do that, where your opponent's on ledge, they, they back up on ledge, they face your back to the ledge, and bust can guarantee a back throw on that. And there's the up air to guarantee the first stock off Vivi, which is a huge stretch from the fact that he has no more aura or rage, so he's gonna have a hard time killing with Palutena right now until he gets some hits in. Okay, I definitely kind of like how um, Jen is approaching the um, ledge trapping situation, especially considering, like, you know, Palutena did, did receive a few nerfs, not too many, but I definitely, it definitely kind of just shows how Jen is making it seem like uh, nothing really happened. You can see from the counter that Vivi was kind of getting a tad bit desperate Vivi? just for a quick kill on that. Hmm? Vivi? V v I always pronounce my name. You always pronounce my name, I pronounce his name. It goes both ways. It goes all around. The have I pronounced your... Is it yes. not Vernius? It is not. You, you're trying your best. Oh, and that beautiful B-Rivers into the command grab. Vernius or Vernius, I'm so sorry. Ah, no problem, man. You got it right the first try, man. First the first try. Which, which, wait, I thought you said <laughs> I said it wrong. No, 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 no. I mean, we'll, we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gonna get a bit more tumble damage in to get him off stage with another back throw. But beautiful was Trump, but not reacting fast enough to get to Trump. Or at least the damage off the Trump. But uh, actually, look at this. This could be like, in a way, you can see this is even. You can definitely see this even. Oh, I believe he already has max aura. I'm not sure if it's 150 or 120 in this game. Oh, but my goodness, that was a scary reflect. Like, surprisingly, it's not like you just disable other reflectors where. With Palutena, it doesn't send it out faster. It comes sends out at the that, same that's speed. That's definitely gonna kill. Very nice Ooh, coming in. The same combo back to back on each stock, except this time I actually killed. All right, and look, we're back at the same scenario we were last stock ago, where Vivi is gonna have a hard time killing with the lack of rage and aura. That's what's so hard about playing with someone like Lucario, because there's a lot of technical stuff that goes into like his movement, the B reverses, gain to confirms with down air into his command grab, his side beam. And almost getting damage at any percent because you have to be good with Lucario with and without Aura. Basically, with and without Arsene, essentially. <laughs> Freaking pre patch Arsene. No, vanilla Arsene, if you will. And now, so that lasts forever. A pillar of oh, light. Yep. It, it just pegged him so hard, he sent off the Sky World, dude. Yep. I was kind of waiting for Jen to kind of just use um, Up Smash to kind of kill because there was definitely a lot of times that he could have used it to kind of just stop um, Vivi's recovery. But I really like how we kind of saved that for like until the very end to make sure that like, you know, he doesn't kind of get too accustomed to having to recover high and mm -hmm. then kind of just covering the high recoveries and just like, you know, hmm. looking for chat. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for chat. I don't know how to watch it. Devin, how we look for chat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, Vivi's taking off the sleeves, bro. I'm sorry! Alright, so much saying hi to the chat. Hope you have a good time tonight as we go on to round two. And what is he doing with that green Lucario skin? He's trying to blend in the PS2? Is he trying to blend into I mean, it's a strat. Here? It's a strat. What's the strat on that one? That's a low tier color. Yeah. That's, is that even. No, that's not the shiny one, right? Shiny's yellow. Shiny's yellow, yes. Okay. I definitely kind of like um, the aggression, a little bit of aggression coming in from um, BB here. Just because, like, last game we didn't see too much of him just kind of approaching, but now that it looks like he is, it kind of just looks like um, he kind of wants to avoid having to 
make these huge comebacks from Gen just putting on lots of damage and playing very like very um, very well around um, Lucario it's and his um, aura. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy how you can see him going for his particular snare setups with the up tilt. I, I, I never seen that before with Palutena, like I said previously last game. So like, I don't know if you need a specific hurt box, it was a hit box on the Nair, but it looks like he's just doing not coming out the yet, first part of it. Nair, like not at, from the jump, like as he's falling down, he gets a Nair and then converts it into up tilt, which I never knew was a thing before. And that was a great stuff from the Aura Sphere right there. Like, you gotta remember, Auto Reticle is an amazing zoning tool that can cover someone charging a projectile, someone approaching, someone retreating. It's good. It's a generally good spacing tool and a good projectile. But speaking of good, that command grab of killing at 77. My god, that, that hurt a lot. <laughs> Lucario. 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 I choose you. Wait. Cho <laughs> <laughs> now he chose himself on that front. Now he put his hands on the trainer, right? Go, Palutena. I choose you. I choose you to go into the blast zone. Hmm, but that was such recovery. All right. Like, well, Lucario, you can mix up recovery in, in so many different ways because his LP is very malleable, and plus you can go in different, many different angles. And also, just be very careful at this percent because he has less than ledge, ledge in his ability with the more percent he takes, and plus, with a full choice Aura Sphere, Vivi is able to cover the ledge because Aura Sphere will cover wow. the whole ledge. And also, speaking of the up again, that hitbox is very large, apparently. So much so, it, it went past her divine toes, bro. But down there wasn't <laughs> even enough to cover that surprisingly, uh, and I, I'm really surprised. And the fade back with the Auras here, more damage, like, he, he's easy at kill percent. He's at kill percent so much that he's at, never stuck already. And look at that downer confirming. Wow. Hey, you see how much it changes whenever Vivi or Lucario in general has rage, or just has a stock lead in general? Like, if he just holds it up, then he, he's winning more and more, dude. Like, he's winning by getting hit in this instance. Especially with the higher percents. So I'm, I'm gonna breathe. Take it to me, Jazzy. Okay, I mean, <laughs> well, definitely seeing how Lucario is at 177%. Now, I'm definitely feeling like this game is a little bit out of, um, you know, Gen's reach. But, I mean, again, anything can happen if he kind of just plays the way he played the first game. And it kind of just makes it so that Lucario doesn't have enough time to breathe, you know. We could definitely see a comeback in the realm of possibilities coming from Gen. Just because, um, you know, giving Lucario no time to breathe oh means God. that, like, he's just going to die for no reason. I mean, and he's going to be like, wow, where did my aura go? <laughs> I wish my aura was here to help me, but it's not. And I mean, it's I... coming back slow but surely. You know, Lucario likes it rough. He's gonna get it back slowly but surely. Like right there, he liked that. He he's gonna get it back soon enough. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Like I said previously, a bit more percent, and it's gonna be much harder for Vivi to avoid down to a ledge. And he didn't even get the nice, nair, man. Very nice shield pressure. How many times? He's killed with up till three times already. What is happening? Wait, wait, what is with this move I'm not seeing used regularly that's suddenly, like, really good? Like, it's an underrated move for sure. Ah, Jen's neutral. Oh my god, it's so good. Kind of just, like, all up in Lucario's face, just like, you know, kind of just being like, I'm here, what are you going to do about it? There's definitely not much that Vivi can capitalize on too much because we have this lack of aura and rage, but he's definitely at the percent lead, and the Jen is having more of a deficit. And plus, like I said previously, the more the card gets hit, especially last stock like this, the more he's closer to winning. So you may be trying to hit him, but he's tr maybe trying to get hit so it's easier to kill. Like right here, I, I don't know how much aura in terms of percent he'll get up. Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, listen, if you're going to get countered like that, Hack. Like, was that like triple digits, right? Yeah. Okay, actually, that makes sense. I, I have no idea how that counter works. I think it's... Isn't it base knockback either way? Yes. Okay. Well, not base I knockback. Think. Like, it scales with rage, but, like, it doesn't account for what's, what you're countering. It just has a set amount of damage and knockback, but the knockback isn't set. If that makes any sense whatsoever. I'm really bad at explaining things. I'm not good with counters, is what I'm trying to say. Words, okay. dude, they're hard. W words are hard. Thank you, Devin. He understands. English is a hard language to comprehend sometimes. And we're going back to PS2 at the very least for Game 3. Running it back. Yet again. Oh, we covered the roll with that. I'm surprised Vivi actually rolled in right there. Like, if he rolled away, then the most Palatina could have done is auto reticle, but that might have not even reached as well, because you got to actually be in her, her range, if you will. It looks like Vivi is kind of getting accustomed to um, Jen, kind of just calling out his moves with up air. If you've seen game one, game two, he did it very consistently, just calling out um, Vivi for just using forward air or just nair, not nair, I don't think, just mainly forward air for um, 
just pressing it in his face. In his face? Yeah. Uh, it's cool to see that even though Vivi had a huge lead for the majority of game two, uh, Jen was still, oh, bless you, uh, he was still able to actually bring it back to last stop. So it just to show how even these two players are against each other. And look at how much he's covering Vivi right now. With the down tilt, covering oh, the ledge jump, I mean, covering the wall jump, as well as the air dodge with that back throw. No. Oh, nah, nah. Like, I never said he's going to be able to take one more at least. At least one more. Which means you don't want to take one more. Like, you, you can get away with it while you can. Again with the up tilt. I, I'm still so surprised that actually kills. I wasn't expecting it to kill there because that yeah, was 130. See? Yeah. But I was thinking more like 140. I, it killed at a 130. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like we've seen it kill platform. on platforms. We've seen it kill at ledge. We've seen it kill on mid stage. We kill, we've seen it kill everywhere. We're gonna see it kill off the top at some point. I, like, what is this move? And it lasts for a long time too. Like you know, you're playing a good character when you can say pretty much every move she has is good, right? I mean, I guess. I mean, what move of Palestine isn't good? When you think of it like that, Four I tilt. guess. I guess. I guess. Like it covers many different get-up options, but you could also just use down tilt, right? So yeah. I, I guess. I guess. Not everyone's perfect. Perry. Even in. the goddess of light herself isn't perfect. Play Kid Icarus Uprising. You know exactly what I mean by that. Oh, Sorry, I, I don't play my uh, Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll talk about that sin of yours later. In the meantime, though. There's a lot of pressure coming out from both ends right now. Jen missing the follow-up. I'm oh, sorry, Rippy missing the follow-up on the up throw, surprisingly. I guess he added, I'm assuming he's added percent for up throw damage, or up throw combos, I mean to say. I, I definitely, oh, I'm sorry. I no, just no, wanted no, to point out, I, I liked how um, Jen is kind of just playing this as he loves to, like, call out BB for anything he's doing. Like, he's, he saw he was going to jump in there, and I, I don't think up Smash would have killed, but he saw that it was, it was definitely... A beautiful call out of a jump. Thank, good job on Jen's The call outs are everywhere. Okay, now Jen has to do his best to simply just wall him out as much as possible. He has no reason. Like, you see it right here? Auto reticle, auto reticle, auto reticle, auto reticle. He's playing uprising. He's playing uprising, dude. He has no reason to approach. Because, like, the more he approaches, the more great he's going to get. But at the same time, though, if he's going to come near him, he can get him off him pretty easily. Yeah, Vivi. Is it? Oh, what? Ooh, I'm so that is gonna spell death. Yeah, Jen is shaking his head. I'm surprised he just drifted into that. I figured he reacted that in time. Hmm. But double bear on the platform, though. Surprised there's no tech on Vivi's end. But again, like maybe he wanted the damage. I'm not gonna say he missed the tech because he wanted the damage. I'm not thinking that. I'm not thinking anyone's really bad thing brain with a character with range, but or or I mean to say. But hey, I mean it benefits him at the very least. Oh my lord, the call out on the roll back? He's getting in his head! He's definitely intimidating him in some regard. But again, he does have a good amount of aura! Wow! Okay, Ooh. I don't know if Vivi just had a good air dodge or if he was just purely lucky that Jen didn't let go of the trigger sooner because that doubt smash, if it was the other side, it would be a whole different story. The game would already be over. We're moving on to the next set with, with <laughs> King Art, bro, and John. Like, whoa. Crazy stuff, dude. And this is still an even matchup. This is still even right now. I mean, not even match play, even game. Because again, Kukari with ma almost max aura, dude. It's a scary beast. He's charging it up. He's constantly moving. It, it makes you think. Like, you you never know when he's going to let go of it, dude. He's never going to know when you let go. He's constantly mixing it up no matter what. Oh, and there's the F till. I'm surprised. All right, but it was back throw. That wasn't the game. Set and match, but must be out of just reaction, of course. And he's just constantly reversing. What? Dash back. Okay, yep. Damn. Oh. Okay. Be a little sad about Smart that. Smart on Vivi's end. Though, I'd be surprised if... I, I was surprised if Orth didn't cover Palutena. I understand invincibility on the shield, but at the same time, though, that's a giant ball of death that you're deciding to thrust yourself into. I'm surprised you didn't take some backlash. I figured it'd trade, so it uh, stuffed it out, so but sorry. it did not.